All right, Chief Meteorologist Tom Sorrells hey. is standing by pinpointing some frigid temperatures for us. Well, frigid for Florida. You know, yes. if you're down here on vacation, you're looking for heat, you're mad. <laughs> but, hey, and don't be mad at us. I finally got out of Ohio or Michigan or Virginia, <laughs> wherever you were. You come down braving the COVID, and you're trying to find a place to be safe, and all of a sudden you're like, wait, it's cold. Yeah, I know. It's not going to last long. For the cold weather lovers who live here, this is your time. Overnight lows tonight, 30s and 40s all around. But by Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, there's going to be a lot of 30s around. I'll show you in a moment. Here we go to the satellite image. Big pocket of low pressure racing from the Ohio Valley to the northeast, drilling this cold front all the way to Miami. I mean, it's going to push all the way into the Florida Straits. Cold air on the backside of it producing all kinds of problems along the Ohio Valley, Tennessee Valley, almost to the Gulf of Mexico. You see the dry air trying to get in from Atlanta to Orlando. We are going to dry out tonight. Cloud cover is going to scour away. We're going to have cold air moving in. The rain is already long since gone. This was coming through here this morning, 7, 8, 9, 10, noon, before it finally cleared out. We only ended up with one severe thunderstorm warning. That was in Alachua County. Backside of the system, putting down snow. All that white stuff right there, that is snow coming down. The pink you're seeing on radar, that is freezing rain edging into Atlanta right now. What a mess. So here at home, it's a little cooler than it ought to be, but it's okay. 63 degrees on the Orlando Health camera right now. Temperature reading, Daytona Beach down to 62. For the moment, on the Launch Credit Union camera in Port Canaveral, our temperature is 69 degrees. Tim's where you live, 59 in Ocala. So the 50s have made it into Marion County already, 64 in Kissimmee. Look at the wind. 13 miles per hour, Leesburg, 14 Orlando, 15 Sanford, 18 mile per hour wind right now in Melbourne. So here goes the cloud cover tonight being pushed out, taken over by the dry air. So it's going to be chilly when you wake up in the morning. Through the day tomorrow, sparkling sunshine exhilarating kind of day. Then tomorrow night, here is where we go. Tonight's lows are in the 30s, 40s. It's cold, but no one freezes. But Tuesday night into Wednesday, wowza. 30 degrees in Ocala, 33 in the villages, and 38 in Orlando. On this night, we fall to 43. It's cooler. Here's tomorrow. Your forecast brought to you by Del Air Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing. Daytime high tomorrow suffers, man. We don't get out of the mid-50s. Check out the week ahead. Keep in mind, the normal daytime high is 76. We will be 20 degrees colder than that tomorrow. Low tomorrow night, 38. That's the headline. Then Wednesday, we warm up. Thursday, we get Ooh. better. Friday, we hit 75. Wow. All right, Tom, thank you. Tonight at 7, millions are being spent to clean up the Indian River Lagoon. Despite that, people are still finding large numbers of dead fish in the important waterway.